In 2019, I took part in the Journey of Hope, a six month training program in peace building and reconciliation run by Reconcilers Together, a network of Christian peacemaking centres across the UK and Ireland. Our first stop in January 2019 was Coventry Cathedral, whose International Ministry of Reconciliation began when the cathedral burned down following the bombing of the city in November 1940. The provost of the cathedral, Richard Howard, vowed that it would rise again as a symbol of hope and forgiveness. A priest made a cross from three 15th century nails from the cathedral's oak beams. The cross of nails was set upon a stone altar created from the rubble and the words Father forgive were inscribed on the surviving stonework of the sanctuary. The inscription deliberately did not say Father forgive them. To recognise that we all fall short and contribute to the culture of conflict. It inspired the Coventry Litany of Reconciliation, which is now prayed daily in the new Coventry Cathedral and weekly in the cathedral ruins. It is also shared by more than 200 other churches and communities worldwide through the community of the Cross of Nails, which grew out of informal relationships between Coventry and three bombed German cities after World War II. On our journey of hope in Coventry, as I walked into the old cathedral, I immediately saw the similarity to our bombed out church in Liverpool, after which the parish where the first open table community began is named. It was destroyed by bombing on the 6th of May 1941. On my return to Liverpool, I began conversation with colleagues about how we might mark the 80th anniversary of the Liverpool Blitz on May the 6th, 2021 and how our parish might join the community of the Cross of Nails. The Teen Parish of St Luke in the City is a creative, progressive, inclusive Anglican community in the heart of Liverpool, which seeks to serve diverse local, national and international communities by working with partner organisations such as Micah Liverpool Food Bank, The Red Cross, Refugee Women Connect, Face for Change, Open Table and Heart Edge an offshoot of St Martin in the Fields, London. We seek to live out our shared unity in God and community with one another, reflecting a commitment to diversity and inclusion, a parish and people living life in full colour from the still centre of God. Reconciliation is an important aspect of this ministry, helping build a culture of peace in our city by offering welcome to all. As well as involvement in inner city and student chaplaincy, we work with and alongside the growing asylum seeker and refugee communities in Liverpool and the parish is looking to extend this work further by reaching out to other marginalised communities in our city, such as the Roma community, helping to build positive relationships between groups that can sometimes experience tension due to a lack of knowledge, contact and understanding. Joining the community of the Cross of Nails will enable St Luke in the City team and the parish to link up our community building ministry with other CCN churches and organisations regionally, nationally and internationally, allowing for mutual learning and collaboration opportunities. Like Coventry, Liverpool was extremely badly damaged during World War II. And one of the lasting physical remnants of this is the shell of St Luke in the City Church, which now stands as a reminder of the destruction of war and as a monument to peace. Hit by an incendiary device during Liverpool's May Blitz in 1941, Thursday 6th of May 2021 marks exactly 80 years since the church building was destroyed. The parish team, along with representatives from the parish, the civic community, Coventry Cathedral and the CCN will hold an act of worship in the ruins to mark the event, during which we will receive our cross of nails. Due to COVID restrictions, there is a limitation on numbers, but we will be recording and streaming it so that as many people as possible can share in marking the opening of this new chapter. <laughs>